Question number five. What is your role and responsibilities you have performed in your project? Here, the expectation from the interviewer is that you need to explain in what stages of SDLC you are involved with. And also, do you perform any other activities as well? So to answer this question, I have listed out some of the roles that are played by any developer in a typical RPA project. I have segregated those roles into two primary and secondary. Primary roles are the key activities that you perform majorly and secondary activities you might do or only some of your team members do probably a senior developer or a team lead. All these roles might vary depending upon your organization or project hierarchy. So let's focus on the primary roles first. The first role that you perform in your project is doing the BRD analysis when you get the new BRD, followed by the documentation preparation. Also, as a developer, the main role you play is build automation solution, that is the development. After the development, you might do the initial testing as well as unit and integration testing as well. Also, you would support QA and UAT as well. You might also play a role to deploy the process in other environments such as test or even in production. Later, you might take up a role for supporting the project in case of any issues and also to monitor it continuously. Coming to the secondary roles, in every project, some senior might perform the bot sizing, that is, estimate the number of bots to be used by a process based on its volume and processing time. Then effort estimation, that is the duration to complete this process. It may be coming from both testing as well as the development as well. Also, in some cases, you might have to do a process feasibility study, that is to identify if this process is suitable for automation and can be automated technically. Also, you will participate in customer discussions to update the project status, guiding, mentoring teams and doing code reviews. These are typically for a lead RPA developer. Also, deployment preparation, that is preparing any deployment documents, checklist and support handover documents. So these are all the typical RPA roles in any RPA project, but not only limited to this. I suggest you to recollect the roles you played in your project and map it against this table will help you to answer this question effectively.